Hey guys, this is Dan from EDM Academy, and in this reference video, I'm going to talk about the basic concepts behind oscillators and frequency. These two concepts go hand in hand with each other in the synth world, so it's important to understand them both. So what is an oscillator? The word oscillation literally means repetition or cycle. In a synthesizer, an oscillator rapidly cycles through what is known as a wave shape to produce a sound. The sound differs depending on the shape of this wave. The four basic wave shapes are sine, square, saw, and triangle waves. Let's listen to what each one sounds like. The speed of these cycles is known as frequency. Frequency uses a measuring unit called Hertz, commonly abbreviated as HZ. If an oscillator has a frequency of 100 Hertz, it will perform 100 cycles through its wave shape per second. This determines the pitch of your sound. Slower cycles will produce a low bassy sound, and faster cycles produce higher treble sounds. The range of human hearing is between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. All natural sounds are made up of thousands of different frequencies, and these are broken down into fundamentals and harmonics. A fundamental frequency is typically the lowest frequency in a sound, and is what determines an instrument's perceived pitch. The frequencies above the fundamental are the harmonics and these make up the character of the sound and help us identify what type of sound or instrument we hear. In a synth, fundamentals and harmonics start off very basically, and the rest of the synth is used to shape them into something more complex. An oscillator by itself produces a very simple sound. Let's look at the frequencies of the different waveforms. A sine wave only produces a fundamental frequency with no harmonics. A square wave produces a fundamental, and then its harmonics show up at every odd interval. For example, if the fundamental frequency of the square wave is 100 Hz, it will have harmonics at 300 Hz, 500 Hz, 700 Hz, 900 Hz, and so on, until they eventually fade out up the frequency spectrum. A saw wave follows the same principle except it produces harmonics at both even and odd intervals. A triangle produces the same harmonics as a square wave, but they fall off in volume much more drastically than a square. Now that you understand the basics of oscillation and frequency, you can dive deeper into the world of sound design and synthesis. That's all for now, but feel free to check out some of our sound design videos to learn more. As always, remember to subscribe for our weekly video updates, and leave a comment below telling us what tutorials you'd like to see in the future. For more video tutorials, visit edmacademy.net.